Can you tell us how your passion for the forensic science started? Well, when I was young, I never think about becoming a forensic scientist. I was planning to play basketball. Then I found out I'm too short. I enrolled in the Taiwan Police University, become the youngest police captain. After five years as a police detective and captain, we decided to learn something which can use scientific evidence to solve the case. That's how I come to the United States to get my doctoral degree from NYU, and we develop a field of forensic scientists. And the more I into the field, the more I like it, because that's really served the citizen. Let the evidence speak for yourself, and maintain the confidence of justice of people. And now you are retired, now you are enjoying life, but you're still working. So can you tell us more about that? Yeah. I actually retired five times. And I retired from NYU Medical Center, and I retired from Connecticut State Police as the chief of the laboratory. After that, governor appointed me as the commander, the chief of the commissioner of the state police and department of public safety. After I retired from that job, the new governor appointed me as the chief emeritus and also as a professor at University of New Haven. Now I retired from that job. Basically, the institute, we do five things. The first thing is public learning. So we go around the world and uh, talk to the high school, college, and professional. The second thing, we helping the uh, people cannot help themselves. Cold cases, unsolvable cases. case. Now, of course, I don't take the case over, which is helping law enforcement, give them advice. The third one is training for police, judges, and the prosecutor, defense lawyer, for the true scientific evidence, what it mean. And the last one, of course, we develop scholarship to helping young generation interested in the field. Now, you worked in cases that are very popular, like the O.J. Simpson case. Um, can you tell us a little bit about how you got a call and how you started working on that case and other cases? Okay. The, uh, people, of course, they read the paper, newspaper, think I only doing O.J. Simpson case, John Benny Renzi, or Elizabeth Smart, those. But uh, actually, we involved in a lot of other cases. Um, for example, Kennedy assassination. The third congressional committee appointed me as, and Dr. DeMille, two of us as the forensic advisor, review all the evidence. And uh, when Whitewater investigation, Vincent Foster death in Mercy Park, uh, Judge Starr is one man, uh, grand jury, he asked me to be the sole forensic scientist to help him with the case. Uh, of course, many other cases such as Clinton and Monica and uh, the serial killer in the Mercy Park, all those uh, uh, cases in uh, Washington, D.C. Now, in reference to cold cases, is there any cold case that wasn't able to be solved that today you're still thinking about that would love to be solved? A lot of cold cases it's happened 30, 40, 50 years ago. Those are become a historical case. Witnesses are no longer there, physical evidence gone. So a lot of time, we try to give family, victim family, some hope, and uh, try to help the police to review the case, hopefully find some clue, or hopefully find some piece of evidence, can do DNA, can do newer scientific testing. We want to ask you some fun questions about you. Can you tell us who has inspired you to be who you are today? Uh, my mother. Uh, without my mother, I wouldn't be here today. When I was seven, eight years ago, my father passed away. My mother, my mother raised us 13 brothers, sisters, single-handed. And she always encouraged us to work harder and uh, try to be somebody. Uh, education is important. Don't quit your uh, school because many of us feel the family, that's a big burden to get the tuition. So uh, my mother always comforted us. 
uh, I'm lucky I went to the police college, it's free, so it did not cost family anything. Wow, and another question for you. If they filmed a movie about you, what actor would you like to play your uh, role and why? Well, they actually have quite a few movie pieces uh, here later. And uh, also, I have a television show in the 1980s called Trace Evidence, Dr. Henry Levi. Um, I have 40 episodes. Uh, to play me, I don't really care, and anybody, of course, have to uh, to be an Asian, and uh, hopefully can speak Chinese, uh, hopefully same my attitude, respect the parents and the family, sees the value of teamwork, and uh, of the working ethic, and uh, those are important.